Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shabby Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how this resonates with your circumstances. So, for those of you out there who are feeling, who have been feeling less enthusiastic, you've been maybe more tired lately, you know, a little bit more lethargic, not as energized as you generally would be. There are lazy spells that has been done by the enemy to keep you in a low vibrational state so that you don't feel as enthusiastic about your creative ideas. The lazy spells is all to keep you overwhelmed with multiple responsibilities, feeling like you're weighed down, juggling it all so that you don't have as much time and energy to put towards your passions and those creative ideas. And so that you're not as optimistic about the future and where things are going. You definitely want to do a burning and releasing. I destroy and release all lazy spells, all um, low vibrational uh, energy that's been sent towards me to block my creative ideas and to siphon my energy or my creativity in spirit and in flesh. You have to rewind it if you didn't catch it. But you definitely want to focus on working on your sacral chakra right now, especially if you find that generally you're upbeat, you're energized, you're able to really pursue your ideas, you know, with passion. I strongly suggest that you work on that because it's definitely an energy of moving forward in a positive direction. And once you overcome this blockage that has been placed over the chosen you're going to get right back up. You're going to get right back into your mojo. Things are going to start moving forward very swiftly. And you're going to get back into feeling optimistic about the future and really putting all of those creative ideas out there. Okay. It's definitely going to continue to enhance your abundance in a lot of ways. And you're going to see those seeds begin to sprout, especially moving into the springtime season. You're going to see things begin to pick up a lot more. And so this, of course, is going to disappoint those who have been working up against you to try to slow you down, but also consider a part of success is giving yourself permission to take breaks. So when you find yourself not being as enthusiastic about, about, moving towards your creative ideas and you just really feel like, okay, I need to take a break. Give yourself permission to do that too. Because while they are sending those spells to try to slow you down, your spiritual team just might let the enemy have a little bit of room to actually create that energy because you need rest. You need to take time out for yourself. You need time to refuel and re-energize. And so you definitely don't want to beat yourself up for slowing down the momentum sometimes. But you also want to know when things are a little bit more excessive because that's when you take your power back and you establish, okay, I see what's happening here. So let me go ahead and pull myself up. Let me go ahead and, you know, maybe do some fasting, taking in more green juices or more fruits and vegetables, drinking more water, exercising, you know, to really get that energy up. So just know. Things are definitely going to begin to move again. And if you feel like you've been overwhelmed with responsibilities, you're going to be able to find a way to balance those things out so that it works for you. You're definitely being called to focus on developing and manifesting certain skills um, and new ideas and really awakening that ambition again for your creativity. So your energy is definitely going to be picking up. You're going to be taking inspired action towards your endeavors. Um, and it's going to be a great ad adventure moving ahead. So get ready for that. And if you find that you're still dealing with some form of heartbreak or some, you know, something from the past still wants to try to linger in to, you know, be a distraction for you, then give yourself permission during this time where things are a little bit more slow to do your burning and releasing, destroying and releasing all unhealthy emotions, all heartbreak, all, you know, um, emotional pain, loss, depression, you know, anything that can try to keep you down 
or to cause that lack of motivation, put it on paper and burn it so that you can get back focused because I see a energy of renewal, you know, just having that, that youthful energy that gives you that spark and that excitement to get up and go. And as the weather continues to shift, I definitely feel that the chosen are going to be in a much more motivated energy where you're really ready to get out there and let your light shine bright. So look forward to that. Um, and don't, don't let the haters worry you, you know, um, they're just going to have to watch you thrive. You know, they thought that they was going to keep you down and have you feeling unmotivated to pursue your ideas, but you definitely have great things that's getting ready to come for you, um, new opportunities, and you just needed that little break to rejuvenate your energy so that you can prepare for it and move, move ahead and forge ahead. So that's my message for you all. If you want a private reading, email me, leave a comment below, and I'll talk to you all next time.